For uh, Syrian refugees who've lost limbs in the long-running conflict, new technology could provide amputees with customised prosthetic limbs for a fraction of the current price. The Syrian conflict has killed over 200,000 people and injured many, some of whom have lost limbs. Well, until now, for many Syrian refugees, getting a prosthetic limb seemed out of reach, but a new technology has surfaced that could provide amputees with customised prosthetic limbs for a fraction of the current price. Well, using 3D printers, the Refugee Open Wear Initiative is helping more victims in Jordan regain their lost limbs as well as hope. Roger was evacuated to Jordan a couple of months ago after losing both legs in a bombing in Syria. Since then, he's been living in this rehabilitation centre. The fingers of his left hand were also cut off in the explosion. Today, two men have come to test a revolutionary prosthetic on the 13-year-old boy. Ask him a bit. Uh... There's really no good solution that's low cost today in Jordan. Generally, we would give them just a cosmetic hand. And even that cosmetic hand would cost at least $300. And so this hand that we produce through 3D printing with a uh, flexible polymer called elastomer is under $10 to make. This American social entrepreneur is the founder of the initiative, developing prosthesis for some of the 200,000 Syrian war amputees. He's assisted by Assem, a former paramedic in the rebellion. We're working now to make a 3D printed socket, especially for, for my like a carbon fiber one. Will look like, look Wounded like in the bombing of his ambulance, he's now started a new fight, bringing hope back to amputees through affordable prosthetics. This is where the process happens, at the heart of a modern business incubator in Amman. For the past three months, the team's been modeling wounded limbs and printing artificial hands, an avant-garde technology within everyone's reach. So this was my, my first hand after one month of learning 3D printing. I did that one. The whole objective of this project is to bring a very big open source movement around uh, 3D printed prosthetics uh, to the area that we believe needs it the most, which is the Syrian conflict. Syria, but also Iraq and Yemen. This hospital houses war victims from across the region. Zain lost his hand in a fire in Yemen so he can drink and eat like any other six-year-old, thanks to Assem, who made him a customised prosthetic with his favourite superhero's logo and watch. It might seem like a design detail, but this does make a difference. The acceptance of the prosthetics is greater. The child has not left it since he received it last week. This technology for us is promising. As funding for the refugee crisis shrinks dramatically amid growing regional turmoil, this new technology could help patch up many amputees' futures.